All right, guys, the year of the game changers. And this, I don't know if this is the biggest game changer of 2017. We haven't seen all of them yet, but this is definitely in the top three. It's got to be. Steve, tell me about your baby here. All right, Rick. Thanks for asking. This is the new Umarex Hammer. And this is the world's most powerful production air gun. It develops energy in excess of 700 foot pounds. Now, just fact, you, hold, hold on, hold, hold on. <laughs> I want that to just settle for just a moment because that did, you know, you have like the power arms race and somebody does 400, why oh, did 405? And then, why oh, did 410? No, like if 500 was sort of the king, you guys took it like way over yeah. here. I mean, just. Just skipped all the stuff, just took it right to the hills. But that's awesome. Yes. 700 plus. 700 plus. Is a big number, and we man. Could, we could head 800 if we used uh, 650 grain lead or something like that. Wow, that's, that's, a, that's a big number. But the, you know, I'm glad you mentioned that because what we did was we had a study that we conducted mm -hmm. which said, what is it going to take? What is the energy and performance needed for 48 states instead of eight states to make air gun hunting legal. Now that's a very, very smart way to look at it. And so we looked at that that way and we saw how a lot of the 357s that are out there are just have so little muzzle energy. You know, they're in the 150, 160 foot pounds right, energy. True. In the state DNRs, they have three times that on their hip with a nine millimeter right. that they don't want to use for a deer gun. Right. So we studied this and and, and then we, we came up with that metric, which was we need to hit at least 700 and the other thing that, that we also did was we studied, okay, what kind of valve is going to give us that? Okay. You know, what's been done typically is using legacy technology, which is just big hammer spring. Right. So you want more power, okay, and you want to dump in more air, so you need to use a bigger spring and a bigger hammer. But there's a diminishing return there because you load up triggers that way, you load up parts, you have parts right. wear, you have a lot of issues. So we, can, we did another study, okay. Okay, an engineering study. And we came up with how do we design a valve that has no load? Okay. So our new patented valve in our hammer has no load. Okay. The cocking force is under two pounds. Okay. It's under two pounds. It's That's a amazing. Pump action. It's a rapid uh, pump action. That's very cool. Do that again. Oh, and out goes the bag. It, it's designed to do that. Okay. So it's a rapid pump action using That's very, a cam very system. Cool. This is patented. Okay. You, you don't see everything that you're going to get here. Okay. Because this is not just a magazine. This is the chamber. Okay. So I can disarm the gun. Okay. I can so disarm instead of the gun. instead of actually shoving something up the breech and now you're done unless you want to drive it out with a rod. We shoot you, out of the chamber. It's right out. So okay. to put the magazine back in, you just integrate it, and there you are. Right. Very cool. So it's it gives you it's a fully regulated gun. Okay. It gives you three full power shots, plus it'll give you several dimension, dimension power shots. Force. Okay. Okay. The tank is interchangeable. Okay. So you can drop the tank and put on another 4,500 psi okay. tank that's pre-filled. Okay. Screw it on, you're ready to go. Excellent. And you have another three shots. All right. So let me talk a little bit from my perspective why I'm getting more and more excited about this product. Okay. So hunting guns. Look, I've been out big game hunting. If you miss the first shot you're probably not getting another one, probably okay? Not. And they're gone, all right? So you, you had your chance, you better make the most of it. So a three shot at the same power, that in and of itself is another thing that just isn't done in big bore guns. All the big bores I've ever shot, they're here, then here, then here, then here, then here, okay? If you want max power, it's really here, then here, right. then here, right. okay? If you don't go max power, it's here and here and here, but then you're not getting the power you need. Exactly. So it's it's a real struggle. So what you've done is you've given us, just as if I had three shells, which how many shells do you take out deer hunting? Well, right, you might take a handful of shells. Right, so, so you take one, two, if you're shooting powder, you got three, four, five identical shots. Here you got basically muzzle loader power. You have muzzle loader power. Muzzle loader energy without the, without the powder, without the mess, without the hold it till it fires. I mean, just all the kind of things that you would want in a gun without the fuss. We are shooting bullets yep. in excess of 1,350 feet per second. Right, okay. In excess of 1,300 feet per second. So this gun was designed not just to shoot heavy lead. We shoot 550 grain lead at over 850. Wow. We shoot 250 wow. grain lead bullets, standard lead bullets from Montana Swaging, say, okay. or whoever, 
uh, coated or uncoated, we shoot those bullets at 1050. Wow. Now, we developed a whole new series of ammunition to use for big game hunting with air guns. And the okay. reason we did that is because even though we're shooting three, uh, 1350, we're still not shooting 3,000 feet per yeah. second. Right. So air gun hunters, they need ammo that's more lethal at closer distances. Because we're not trying to kill something at 500 yards. Right, so what you've done is you've developed the platform but then you've also developed all this supplemental stuff that just enhances the lethality at, at whatever range we need. So say up to 50, 100 yards? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So the other thing is that we developed the gun to be the same weight as a standard uh, bolt action center fire rifle. Right. It's actually so pretty gun, light. So this gun in production is eight pounds okay. and 42 inches long. So if I'm going to buy a new rifle, right. and I'm a deer hunter, okay? I'm a, I'm a coyote hunter, I'm a deer hunter, predators, if I'm going to buy a new rifle for $600, say, I want to be able to do more than just shoot deer with it. Yep. I want to be able to load it up with 550 grains and shoot a buffalo in Montana, or I want to be able to load it down and shoot sabotaged 300, 357 caliber bullets out of it. Yeah. And I'll show you how we do that. We partnered with a company called Polycase Ammunition, which okay. makes a copper matrix injection molded ammo. Okay that has Venturi cuts in the face of it. Have a look at that. So what these Venturi cuts do is they act as accelerators. So upon okay. impact in uh, flash, yeah. okay, it ex they accelerate rapidly and create a, a huge wound cavity. Huge wound cavity. So you probably, when it hits, it like does that number? Is that sort of yes, what it does? exactly. Okay. So this is a 200 grain speed belt bullet okay which we sell to which, which we'll sell for black powder right so these are black powder bullets that are going into an air gun okay and they give devastating lethality at distances up to 150 yards wow right in addition I want to be able to shoot coyotes right so what we've done is we've created a series of sabots they're 50 caliber sabots okay that use 45 caliber 40 caliber and 357 caliber ARX bullets. Okay. So now if I want to shoot a coyote at 200 yards, yeah. I'm coming out of the barrel at over 1350 and I have the energy I need to, you know, legitimately- not only, Yeah, not only hit them, but just kill them. obliterate them. Just right. dead is dead. Dead is dead. That is- We guaranteed 50% more dead. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it. I'm, you know, I'm getting into the big boar hunting thing. I've done a ton of small game. Yeah. But, you know, the more I get into the big boar, you know, you just don't know what's going to happen until you actually shoot it. Exactly. You can shoot paper all you want. You can shoot ballistic gel all you want. But until you actually shoot the game and then you do the autopsy, which is what we've done, yes. we actually take the game apart. Mm -hmm. We find the slug. We look at the damage. We look at where we hit it. But did we hit it right? What happened when we hit it right? If you, exactly. if you hit a, a pig... Like we were shooting, we want to go through the yes. shield, hit the vitals. Yes. You want to drop them, and we've had great success, and we've had, huh, that didn't work like we thought. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, hey, we hit it with this big, massive gun, and it, we expected boom, dead, and it didn't because it didn't right. have the punch or it didn't, it didn't have, have the punch and whatever it was. But something like this, I mean, these are proven rounds. Th these are proven rounds, and what these do is, it's a time issue. Right. How much of the energy can you dump instantly? Right. If you can instantly dump the energy, you have more shock, you have more lethality. If you don't dump the energy, you dump half the energy in the animal and the other half, when it hits the tree on the other side of the animal, you yep. haven't done the job. You yep. need to dump it all instantly. So look, this is something I haven't actually had the time to talk about, but it's something that I... Don't you agree with that? I, I, and I'm just getting to that point because... Well, you know, on Air Gunner, we did the test where we were shooting through ballistics gel. Yes. And at 30 yards and even at 50 yards, we saw the bullets or the pellets go clear through an 18-inch block of gel. Right. That tells me it's not dumping the energy. It's not dumping you the energy. you got energy going out. You know, it's wasted right. energy, wasted right. power. Right. So every time you get a pass-through, I don't care if you have a 75, 85, 100, 500-foot-pound gun. Yes. If it's going out the other side, guess what? Doesn't work. Right. And we, we saw this. So you guys haven't seen the footage, but we saw this in Texas. We have a 30 cal that's pushing 95, 96 foot pounds of energy shooting jackrabbits. Yes. We saw more jackrabbits get hit and jump away with right. that gun right. than we did our 30 cal brake barrel. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because it didn't impart any energy. Exactly. It's like the 9 mil versus a 45 ACP. Do you recall the old Winchester silver tips? They no. They actually had a silver tip bullet. It was almost like it, was, uh, it had a pewter tip. Okay. Right? 
that bullet would never exit. <laughs> I have a 257 Roberts. I've shot those bullets for years. I, I actually buy them online now because they're no longer made. But I love those bullets because they would blow up okay. inside the animal, and the animal would just stop. There's no searching or anything else. So what we're doing in air gun ammo, both with this and other ammo that you'll see here, is trying to create loads that make air gunners more effective in a hunting situation so okay. that we can have, you know, at air gun hunting distances, legitimate right. distances. Little, yeah, not just 25, 30 yards. Yes, but exactly. Yeah. exactly. The other Thank thing that, that comes to mind when I look at these and talk to you about this is that traditionally air guns do not kill with hydrostatic shock. They kill with blood, let it, blood loss, like yeah. a bow and arrow or something. Right. So what you're doing with this gun is you're actually introducing a hydrostatic shock exactly. sort of element that has never existed before. Yeah, and it's a silenced gun as well. Let me explain that to you. We are using a new composite material okay. provided by a partnership with, a, uh, with a, a polymer company. This polymer material is actually a composite. This is a extruded composite shroud. Okay. This material absorbs sound, whereas metal reflects sound. Okay. So this barrel has been fully shrouded okay. in a very, very special way so that we capture all of the shock charge. How, how loud is it compared to like other big boys? I don't have DB ratings right now, yeah. but I can just tell you that I could easily sell this as a quiet backyard deer gun. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay. So if you want to shoot that 160 that's coming in your backyard yeah. without your neighbors knowing yeah, it, I got you. where that's Not, legal, where yeah, legal. Where that is permissible. Only permissible and legal. Uh, you could do so. That's and awesome. And it wouldn't disrupt their breakfast. It's a beautiful gun. Thank you. It's a beautiful gun. Thank you, Rick. Now, let's well, we take... We appreciate your comments. We'd love to have you test it. Come to Fort Smith and join us. Yep. In uh, measuring the effectivity, uh, bring your favorite loads in, too. Yep. Another thing to mention is that the barrel is not a typical 50 caliber barrel. Okay. Okay. As you know, there's a lot of discussion going on about if you use a barrel that can be taken off and used on a rifle, it may have an, an ATF issue. Really? Okay. I didn't know that. This barrel will never have an ATF issue. Okay. This barrel also is a 50 BMG barrel. Okay. So it is not the classic. Uh, 50 caliber, which is much less than half an inch. Right. Okay. So what some air gun companies have done is used undersized bores. Yeah. So like that 492 they, or something like that. So they get around, you know, the ATF thing. But right. we have no issue with this. We use the maximum bore, and uh, that's, that's one of the that's ways very cool. The power. Well, show me. You've got some other ammo. I want to wrap up with that that last bit of ammo, and then yeah. we'll uh, we'll call it a day here. Okay. All right, so you've already addressed the, the big bore lethality, yes, right? So exactly. we've got that solved. You've got the rifle. Big bore guys are going to be super happy. What are you doing for small bore? Well, one of the things we did was we took a look at the spring piston and okay. gas piston guns that are out there, the brake barrels. And, of course, we have the Walther line. We have the Umarex Octane and so forth, which, which is a magnum. And we took a look at standard velocity PCPs. Okay. Now, there's a, there's a few... PCPs out there that have you know real high velocity, yeah. uh, but those are few and far between and sure. quite expensive. So when you truly really take a look at the guns that are being used, the vast majority of the 177 caliber guns are shooting a thousand. Right. Okay. The, the two two guns, the vast majority of them are shooting low nines to maybe high nines. Okay. Right. So we studied that mark and we said, what can we do to make an, a, a pellet that is accurate? Okay. okay, but has enhanced lethality. Okay. okay, we teamed up with a high tech maker out of Georgia. Okay, and I met this and guy. He's super high energy. He's super high, passionate right. about this stuff, right. big time. And they made 12 gauge shotgun slugs, okay. and we challenged them to develop this and work with them extensively to develop a expander. And the only way I, that I can describe this is that it is a broadhead for air guns. You know, that's it actually a good way to a good way to describe it. I wouldn't have thought of that, but that's a good way is, to look at it. It expands 100% of the original diameter okay. and has six cutting surfaces. Wow. So what it does is, it, once again, it dumps all of its energy instantaneously in the animal. And you see here with our clear gel, right. You know, we, we have we have tuned this ammo, depending on the caliber, to go a different depth. 25 caliber, you want a little deeper. Right. 22, a little less. 17, a little less than that. Okay. Right? So this ammunition is, is tuned to expand for the velocity of the round, say it's 25 or 22 okay. or 17 caliber, and it's tuned to expand 
for the size of game that you would normally shoot with that. Oh. So I could take the 17 caliber uh, and shoot, uh, and I would feel no qualms shooting a fox or a bobcat. Really? No qualms whatsoever. I would take the 22 caliber and it ranges to say uh, 25 or 30 yards. I'd shoot, I'd double along a coyote. Really? And okay. follow the blood trail. Okay. It's like a broadhead for air guns. That's impressive. It's like a broadhead for but that, you know, again, continuing to change the game. Yes. To change how the perception of how things can be done. Yes. You know, if you're, we've shot a lot of ballistics this last year, and the dome pellets are always pass through. Yeah. Not always, but Pop most it. of the time they're just pass through. Now we get, we've tested some nice hollow points that kind of stop. Yes. But these we're talking. Yeah. Two and a half inches. These are three inches. These are slightly lighter than lead. Just slightly yeah. lighter than lead. Yeah but the accuracy has been really dialed in. So we okay. obviously we're not saying go out and do whole punching target shooting with these. This well, you wouldn't, expensive. it's expensive, right? It's what, 50 cents a round? Yes. It's so 50 it's 50 around. cents a round. Now that- That's expensive. A little shock on that, but, but the truth hunting. is, it's a hunting round. It's a hunting round. You're not round. blinking with these. Exactly, it's yeah. a hunting round. I got you. So gotcha. we're getting, uh, you know, one inch groups at 30 yards with these. Which okay. is plenty accurate for for what you want out of a yeah gun absolutely hunting. yep if, I gotcha. if, if if I could shoot a twenty five caliber air gun at fifteen hundred feet per second I would design that projectile differently mm -hmm. the nice thing about this technology that we have is that I can go lighter I can go heavier okay so we're also studying heavier magnum so we're gonna see this you're gonna see, we'll see this grow a little bit you are well guys man this has been very very eye-opening here at the umrex booth today steve thank, thank you, you so Ryan. much i, I can tell it, you're super passionate about this stuff when you have somebody that's passionate about it they dump all that into making some really great products and thank i can you. tell you and both richard just love this stuff so man thank you for what you're doing guys we got a lot more shot show to show you for now my name is rick uchen with Aragon web tv here at the umrex booth shot show 2017 thanks for watching